stop. Before you press that cycle start button, you really need to watch this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. So more and more people are buying CNC machines like myself to have in your garage and to use. But what a lot of people don't understand are some of the basic fundamentals. Now these were the fundamentals uh, taught to me when I was trained on the Haas at the high school where I teach. Now, one of the things I want to discuss with you is that before you press that cycle start button, uh, and it's a first time program, so a program that you have not run before, you need to be really sure that you can trust that program, you won't crash your machine. So some of the stuff I'll cover today is simple stuff like checking your work coordinate system. How can you validate that your G54 or G55 is correct? Well, today I'll show you, you can run a small little program which you can manually program yourself or you can do what I did and you can use Fusion 360 to post it. So how I used Fusion 360 was I drew this shape here. This is my table setter which is approximately four inches high so that's 101.6 millimeters and I'll bolt this down to my table so I can use it uh, later on when I'm machining. Now to do the the work coordinate check here you can see that I did an offset plane um, here which is 10 millimeters above and I put a circle on it which is there. You can see it here if I zoom in. Coming over to CAM now into manufacturing environment um, all I did simply did here was do a, a drilling cycle using a spot drill. So I called up tool two. <clears throat> I've disabled the coolant and I've left everything else alone here. Clicked OK. And if we simulate that and if I run it slowly, you can see that the tool will wrap it down and, and go approximately 10 millimeters above the work spot. I can click on that point there. There you go. And you can see it here, it's 10 millimeters above. All right. Now I posted that code and then I just did some editing of my G code. So from here, I post that. And I'd call it 01001. and save that to the desktop. Now, once that code comes out, there's some stuff here that you can just edit and I'll show you how it looks when I'm finished here. The second thing I wanna talk about is that how do you actually prove that program? So let's look at this as like a three-step process, okay? Step one would be put your code into the controller. Bring up your set in graph setting, okay? Haas have this, my LNC controller have this and simulate that cycle inside your controller. Now, if you've got um, your work coordinate in the right spot, you, your controller will tell you if you're gonna crash into a, into a hard or a soft limit, that sort of thing, and it will show you up any errors in your G code that your controller won't recognize. Now, the second step I suggest is actually run that uh, work coordinate system validation. So to actually, you can, you can run it, turn down your rapids, and actually see where your work coordinate system is. Now the third thing I would recommend also is that when you run your program for the first time, set your Z height, okay, above the job. Okay, so if your maximum tool is gonna to drop down 20 millimeters, I would suggest setting your Z height 25 mil up. Give it that room for error run a cycle first, cutting air, okay? That's commonly referred to as a ghosting cycle. Okay, we're not actually cutting anything, we're just validating it. And that is one quick way to see uh, if you're correct and your program's gonna run fine. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that today? Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope your, you first time CNC users out there actually gain something from my video. Um, there's nothing worse than having your beloved machine uh, crashed and not being able to run. So these are some little tips 
that I highly recommend that you do uh, before you start cutting material, okay? So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for dropping by my channel. I really appreciate your support. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.